Welcome everybody to Wrestle Talk, a podcast for two guys who love professional wrestling, WWE, POE events. Also, my, my co-host says he likes pay-per-view, the back-of-the-day shit, whatever. My name is Lou J. This is MC Cody. <laughs> Mario MC Castro. MC Cody. For those who has followed us, thank you so much. Keep on liking, comment, subscribe to this podcast. You know, we're doing bigger, bigger things. Uh, you know, we got we we just watched yesterday Bash in Berlin. Uh, you know, you remember his last time from SummerSlam, which this man made me feel bad, had to turn turn, turn my back to his ass, but whatever. <laughs> but uh Mario, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good today. I'm in a good mood. I Fucking best you are. Hold on. Let, me, let me make myself real, real comfortable here because you know I know. Oh yeah, special shout out to. I, said, I hope I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Your India is Sh- 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 Shamir Shamir Shamir. Uh, special shout out to you. Thank you so much for the email. Uh, like you know. Basically, you're saying I suck and you love Mario better than me, but that's okay though. I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> you know, all the way from India. All right. And also, my man has a question for you too. You What's the I mean? question? He uh, he said about the SummerSlam thing, right? But he wants to know what's your favorite WrestleMania match. <sighs> you put your oh. you think about it. You can think about it. We got time. I mean, he, he wanted to know. He likes your calmness and coolness to my. What's the word you say? Anarchy and shit. What the fuck? Craziness. The craziness. Yes. <laughs> One of us has to be logic, though. One of us has to be logic. Um, I told Lou after we did the show. I don't agree with everything that Triple H does. For the most part, yes, it does seem that. I'm all kissing Triple H's ass, this and that, whatever. I love Cody Rhodes, this and that, whatever. I don't like everything that Triple H does. I'll tell you that right now. I did not like everything that Vinnie Mac did. I'll tell you that right now. Overall, (laughs) and you can see Lou, and I'll try to wrap this up. Overall, I love the product, and I want to see it improve. So sooner or later, you're going to answer this man's question about WrestleMania. <laughs> well, there's just, there's, there's just so many matches on WrestleMania. There's the Federation era, the Attitude era, the Aggression era. There's just so much to choose from. If I had to pick one match, and I was just recently thinking about my childhood because of things that's, you know, just brought that to light to my attention right now. Okay. If I had to pick one match, it would probably be from the Golden Era, the Federation Era. Probably Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, champion, champion for champ, championship for championship. Ultimate Warrior winning the belt. At that time, I'm a, I was a kid. I did not know shit about behind the scenes or the business or what was going on. I just love the character. I love Hulk Hogan and my brother loved the Ultimate Warrior. I wanted to see the uh, Hulk still win. My brother got what he wanted. He wanted to see the Warrior won. And, you know, of course, I was sad after that match. Uh, I didn't want to see Hulk still lose. My brother was happy. You know, uh, I think I have a... If I can find it, I'll probably text it to you. There's a picture of my brother that's we we'll, we made a championship belts out of papers, and we just like uh, ready. Now I got I gotta find that. Uh, we just made the championship belts and we colored the belts with paper and colored pencils and all that, and you know we like hold it up, and then I uh, I had this other belt, this tag team belt that my dad bought when he got us when we went to the summit to see the wrestlers at the summit back when they were uh, called back then. I gotta find that picture and text it to you. But yeah, you know, it, it would, if I had to pick one match, I would pick that one. And that's only because, you know, my childhood, you know, it, at that time it was awesome. The Attitude Era was awesome as well. There were so many great matches. So the ruthless Aggression Era, 
has so many right. great matches, but you know, I had to say just Hogan versus War that probably be the pick. Okay, all right, S man, that's what I'm gonna call you from now on. I'm not, I, you know, my man from India. I, I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, you, you got you got your answer from your favorite on here, of course. You know, I must ain't be shit, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm just going to announce this shit, and I want you to tell me what your thought was. I know why it went number one, the Undisputed Championship. I know, I do know why, because Cody stinks. Um, Cody Rose, the Undisputed Champion versus Kevin Owens. And remember I told you, do you think this match needed to happen? And you said no. I said yes. So... Tell me about what you think about this match overall. You go first, because I'm going to go last. Well, first of all, you have a face facing a face. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest with you. I was not feeling the storyline whatsoever. The buildup wasn't interesting to me. Um, I hated it. I didn't agree with the match. The match did not need to be on the card for that reason. <sighs> when the match came on, I thought it was a good, solid, boring match where nothing happened. Mm -hmm. I expected Kevin Owens to turn heel. That did not happen. And I feel that WWE is basically main maintaining the fan support for both talent. If they are to turn Kevin Owens heel, it doesn't seem like they're going to rush it, mainly because they're trying to avoid uh, predict it, avoid predict, uh, yeah, <laughs> avoid predictions. Yeah. Uh, fans trying to predict everything that's going to happen. Of course, us uh, fans that's been watching it for so long, yes, it does become predictable, but, you know, we watch it because we love it. Um, if they do, when they do decide to turn Kevin Owens heel, it's going to be memorable. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want to see this match again. Not with face, uh, going against face. It, it, for me, it was boring. It, it really was. <sighs> Sir. It needed to happen because your champion is the worst champion of all time. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you why. It may not make may it might not make sense to you, but yes, it does. You're right. Kevin will turn heel. He will turn heel. It's coming. Uh, I think his heel run this time is going to be epic. So I think your creative geniuses at WWE, led by your buddy, Paul Levesque, you know, the savior of WWE, yada, 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 is putting uh, spots. He's planting seeds with that one, whoever is doing that. For some reason, I feel Kevin's going to fucking fuck up Cody's shit in the future. The jealousy is going to come. Because sooner or later... Like, that whole trio of Cody and Randy and Kevin is going to come around. It's coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. This match, you're right. Somewhat. that It should have been not on the card. But let me ask you a question. Because I'm, I'm just dumb with this fucking match. First of all, it's a bad ending. You know, everybody's taking each other's fucking finishers. And then all of a sudden, you know, he tries to do a swan tie. He puts the knees up. He gives him the Cody Cutter. Of Cody, whatever the fuck he calls it. Uh, um, um, like his little finishing mode. His finishing move, the, the Mario Castro twist or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I call it, the MC twist. There you go, MC twist. So... He already did like three times throughout the match. He kicked out. Now all of a sudden he fucking pins a one, two, three. But you know it's bullshit. So I'm gonna ask you, sir, again. And ladies and gentlemen, we will not agree on this. And first of all, he's lying. He is a hundred percent Triple H favor because he feels he's gonna save the company. He does feel that way, I guarantee. Tell me right now, 
And I said this to you. This is like the fourth or fifth podcast in a row. I said, and I'm gonna ask you again: What the fuck is the plan for Cody? At this point, at all, I don't know. Wow! After seeing that match, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this the guy? He was okay with the AJ Styles thing. Then he was okay with Solo. I get it. You're okay with all these stuff. Who? It's, it's face. It's face versus here. You have the last three, four matches that he had on uh, pay per view or PLE. It's face versus heel. Champion versus challenger. I get all that. I don't get face uh, for versing face, and then there's no how you say it twist at the end. I don't get that. It does not make sense whatsoever. Do you feel there there are not enough heels? No, there are not enough heels. I think that they're trying to build more heels. Who? Well, Kevin Owens is one of them. Well, flip the script. Flip it. Flip that switch. Let it fucking go. Like now, 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 now here's here's the impatient part for everyone. Kind of me too, because I'm starting to get impatient with this. He ain't gonna turn the script. Like that, the way we want. He's going to take his time. He's going to let it ride out. And then at the very end, that's when uh, he's going to flip the script. Uh, and make uh, Kevin Owens heal. Uh, that's what he's going to do. You said to me, Triple H is a, the master of long-term story building. Or something like that you fucking mentioned. Don't you think he's taking too fucking long with this fucking story? He's taking too damn long. Like, I've said it again, 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 again. Cody's reign is bullshit. He's a poster boy. He's the worst WWE champion, F, WWF, whatever champion of all time. Dude, I'd rather have, bring back the honky tonk man. Let's give him the title. <laughs> He's better than this motherfucker. Okay? Anybody is better than him. Give me Dork the Clown. I'd rather have his ass. Okay? I'd rather have, oh, better yet. I'll tell you who would be a better champion. The old dude with the, the, the beard, the guy with the beard and suspenders back in the day. Hillbilly Jim, Jim Dunk, and Hillbilly Jim. I'd rather have him than Cody. Okay? I'd rather have anybody with Cody. Okay, first and foremost, <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, 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 I just can't. Dude, ladies, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I have done this shit every fucking week with this guy, with Cody. I think he's the worst champion ever. Uh, anyway, to end this all, uh, what was our predictions? Because I, I, I had enough of this shit. All right, <laughs> you predict. You predicted Cody Rhodes would win with a twist. I predicted Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens would turn heel. Of course, that did not happen. And nothing. Uh, No, nothing. 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 Nothing happened. Like I said, said, this was a good, solid, boring match where nothing happened. Nothing. Do you think... Okay. I'm thinking... Now, you got bad blood coming up, right? What mm-hmm. are you going to do with him with bad blood? Can you create you know, a storyline in four weeks for bad blood? How are you going to create a storyline in four weeks for Cody for bad blood? I would love to know that. If you, if now, a good storyline for him, if Kevin would have did something to him, because remember that little that little shit they did on SmackDown? Mm-hmm. They was talking shit, and then all of a sudden you get to last night, it's totally fucking different. What the fuck is that? You know, 
last yesterday was the time to fucking do that shit. So you can do something with bad blood. Again, a face versus face shit, whatever. Now, I don't want to rush to the main event shit yet, but I'm saying we already know what happened to the main event. Mm -hmm. I told you already, your match is Cody Randy. Okay? I think they should start building that shit way better back in the day. Now, I would like to see, finally, Cody gets a good match. If they go back to how they did it, champion versus champion, and, and Survivor Series. You know, the back in the day, it was Universal versus Heavyweight. Intercontinental versus United States. Uh, tag Team versus set, Raw versus SmackDown. Remember the Survivor Series, they would, have, they would pit against each other, who was a better team, but no title was changed or whatever. <laughs> now, I would like to see Cody versus Gunther at Survivor Series. Because that's the way they used to do it. If you want to do the whole bloodline thing, that's fine. Give, because I'm telling you right now, if you do that, that'll be a good match. But this is the thing. If you do that, Cody's going to look more of a fucking fraud than ever before. He's a fraud. Please admit to me, before we end this, that he is the worst champion ever. Please. He's not oh. the best champion. The worst. He's Say not it. the best. Say it. He's not the, the best. He's not the... He, hold on. First of all, I think that Kevin Nash was the worst champion, the worst Darwin champion. But Cody Rhodes ain't the best. I'll give you that. Which one? When he was Diesel? Yeah. He was like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's the worst champion, the worst Darwin champion. But Cody Rhodes ain't the best. I, can, I will give you that. All right. I want to see him go through the rest and whatever. Women's tag team title, sir. We both did not see this shit coming. I'm going to start off this one. The champions, we all know who champions are. Uh, uh, Fair and Dawn, Fire and Dawn, whatever. Against Belair and Cargill. We did not see this shit coming. Again, this is a Triple H fucking <laughs> decision. I believe we both thought that she, that this was the time. This was the perfect time. Again, just like the first match. For someone to turn heel. It was the time for Bianca to turn heel. And so she can go on her, her race. Then Cargill, she can do whatever. But this was the time for the break this shit up. They didn't do it. So I like the match. Match was whatever. But this is what I'm gonna ask. This is what I'm gonna say to you. This, this, this is a question I'm gonna ask you. Cause I don't give a damn about the match. We already know who won. Cargill brother got it back. <laughs> so why did you give it to him in the first place? Fire and dome. And please don't give me this home country shit. I don't care about the home country. Why'd you take it off them in the first place and give it to the other girls? The other girls gave the other girls in the in the other company, like the Starks and uh, Blazer and all these guys, opportunities. It was a fair opportunity. It was better matches, right? Now mm -hmm. you put it back on these two powerful cats to go right back to the same system. Bullshit. Who's legitimately going to take them off them? Nobody. Nobody's going to take them off them. So this tells me your buddy Triple H, he wants to be this nice, nice guy. Give back. Give opportunities. Well, I'm going to give these two this in their home country. I'm going to give them the titles. Great. You give it to them, they keep it, what, for two months? Some shit like that? And now you give it back to these two. Why? Are you still protecting this overrated, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it since day one, this overrated fraud who needs to go back to AEW. I see why AEW fired her, or got rid of her. It's Jay Cargo. She stinks. 
She said, and you'll say to me, because I know what you're going to say, because you want to be Mr. Fair and shit. You know, like, you know, she is getting better and all this shit. Like, you know, Triple H, he's trying with her. They're trying to work her up. And, like, you know, because last time you said you want her ass to go back to NXT. You want to go to NXT. Now, yeah. I want to hear this shit from you. Please explain to me this situation, which this is your buddy's call. MC Triple H, MC Paul, please explain this situation to me because I am totally confused by this decision. Go ahead, um, Sergeant. Well, I think we both uh, won that fire and on to retain their uh, women's tag team championship belts. And mm-hmm. we were expecting either Bianca or Jay to turn on one in- another. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't get this. I did not want them to lose. Um, no, I don't think that Jay got better. I really don't. Uh, Say it. Now, Come I'm on. gonna speak. I'm, I'm gonna speak log- logical, and maybe what I say at the end is gonna probably make you satisfied. Oh, the it. works. Uh, <laughs> overall, the match had, uh, I think it showcased it for Iron Dawn's uh, dominance, keeping them credible. Something I have not seen with Bel Air or Cargill is them actually working together as a team rather than just using overpower uh, power moves on their opponents. Mm-hmm. I think that they hid Cargill's weakness so well that Barrelero had to do most of the work in that match. That's every match. No, this particular match. That's every match. No, this particular match. <laughs> let, 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 listen, the other matches, we saw Cargill doing botches and messing up and did not perform well. They did not use her in this match so much. Berlair did most of the work as far as in-ring ability, uh, performance-wise. She was in the ring more than Cargill was. She's always in the ring more than Cargill. Oh, my God. (laughs) Dude. I see what you're doing. You're not going to pull this shit on me. I see what you're doing. You're trying to fool me like you did last time. No, 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 no. Cargill still sucks. She's not the better performer. Okay. You're right. She has not improved. They just hit her weaknesses. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. They hit her weaknesses. And for Everything's her weakness. Everything. She stinks. This is why she needs to go back to the performance center and train with um what's his name? Norman Smiley. This yeah. is why she needs to do do that. They can't they cannot you cannot keep keep on hiding the weakness. Eventually it's gonna show, she's gonna mess up. Correct. The only thing that they got going for her is my skills, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so let's say we're both Montez four, okay? And we're saying, like, baby, they're holding you back from being better to babysit someone who can't wrestle, who has no promo skills, who is, you know, I, 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 I'd rather see her old AEW promo skills than this shit. Now, I thought they was better when she was AEW, you know, even, and that was bad. But don't you think they are holding her back from being better than what she is? I'm talking Bianca Blair. Why are they holding? Why is your buddy, the head of all creative, the savior of WW fucking E, Paul Triple H Levesque, holding back his established star for someone who has no fucking talent just because she has a look? 
Why? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I would. They they need to put her back in the performance center. Put her at NXT. Have her doing with Norman Smiley. Bianca Belair needs to start going solo. Yes. Establishing other talent. That's what she needs to start doing. Okay. This whole putting the tag team belts on Belair and Cargill, it's not going to last long. There is not credible. Cargill has weaknesses. They're not going to elevate the women's tag team division like that. They're weakening it. It's a weakness. They're not doing that mm-hmm. anymore. So I want to ask you. Now you put the belts back on them. What do you do with them now? Now you got bad blood. You got... Because think about it. Wouldn't that be the best thing for bad blood? Bianca turning on Jade? Or Jade turning on Bianca? Going into bad blood? That's creative. Kevin going turning on Cody. That's creative. Okay, where are your bad blood matches? I don't know where the fuck they're at. You got four weeks for this shit. You waste. No, no. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. So <laughs> I'm going off. To, I'm going off him. What do you do with Jade now, sir? <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't even have put the damn tag team belts on them. I would have let them, I would have let Fire and Dawn keep the belts. There should have been at least some kind of seance or miscommunication played into that match. Yes. Even if they was not, even, even if they was not going to turn them heel or do the turn immediately, they should have had some kind of seances or miscommunication between the two going into that storyline. That's how I would have booked that match. But well, that did not did. happen. Well, I'll be damned. We actually agree on fucking something. Holy <laughs> shit balls. Holy shit balls. Now see look, look, look. In, in, in my in my notes, we both predicted Dawn and Fry Fry to win. I think we both wanted them to win. Yes. We both wanted to see the tur- turn one of them to turn heel. We both wanted to see that. Yes. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Bullshit. Okay. Uh, I'll let you have this one. Mixed tag team match, Tower Twins, Liv Morgan, Dominic Mysterio versus the Tower Twins or Terror Twins, what the fuck they call? <laughs> Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. Uh, I thought overall this storyline is very great. They're That's keeping right, the spot not on the betrayal. Huh? What is it again? The storyline uh, it's very great. It's a great storyline. They're keeping the spotlight mainly on the betrayal. Uh, Ripley and Priest are <coughs> being positioned, are going to be positioned. It looks like they're going to be positioned as top tier level talent uh, for them to go on and do different things. Uh, it was a solid job with this match uh, being the outcome the way it did with uh, Ripley pinning. Lev Morgan, um, but the the way we Ripley pinned Lev Morgan, I think a lot it's buzzing on the internet. I don't know if you got a chance to see the picture, but there's uh been names for that certain pin. Yeah, uh, no. so- yeah that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. pin. I'm gonna get you pregnant position. Um, mm-hmm. Like all type of shit. Yeah. That's how the internet is. They did fucking bored. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it wasn't, a, I don't, I'm not going to say it's the best. I, it, it, it was good for what it needed to be. Uh, they needed to show that uh, uh, Priest and uh, Ripley, they needed to have a win on this one. Even though I didn't think that they were going to do it. They needed to have the win on this one for 
revenge that happened uh, to them on SummerSlam. I thought that <laughs> for sure they would have went the way with the Judgment Day winning. Man. I, I thought that for sure. That it would have carried on that storyline a little bit more after today. Or after after last night's event. Uh, probably doing separate uh, matches. Probably with Lair versus um, Rhea. And then maybe uh, not Dominic, but Finn Bauer versus Damian Priest. Um, I, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Next month of Bad Blood, ladies and gentlemen, that is Mario's show. He's going to run the whole damn thing. I'm just going to sit there in amazement and, and, and watch how he, he praises Triple H for the shit. But, uh, <laughs> this, again, now you said this was a good match, right? I said it was a good storyline. Good storyline? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go back. Now, you said storyline. It's very interesting to me. You say storylines. This all unfolded at SummerSlam, right? Mm-hmm. That was, what, a month ago? Less than a month ago? Yeah. Okay. Again, this is the third match in a row. Third match in a row. And in four weeks, you have bad blood. I have a question. Why do you have this pay-per-view, bad blood, and you have nothing worked for it? It's the third match in a row in this card. You could have set up bad blood. You already fucked up with the Roman shit coming back. He came back, beat Solos and them ass, and then they so put Roman out again. Which, by the way, you and I talked about he had the highest grossing t-shirt sale probably of all time in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So, again, I don't give a damn about this match. Besides, this would have been a great opportunity for my my girl Tiffy Town to fucking cash in. (laughs) I forgot to mention that. Or even a try to attempt. See, how about this? This is a story right here. I want you to listen to this story. When I said, okay, Rhea pinned Liv, right? Or they was beating Dama Liv's asses. How about Naya and and Tiffy Town comes out? They get involved with it too because Tiffy Town is trying to cash in on live and Rhea gets, you know, mad and this and that. That's a story. Even it, like a little side story. Okay? A little side story. Okay? Because this is two matches in a row. You have two good superstars of women, Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, being held the fuck back again. Now they're being in these tag team shits, and you're saying it's a good storyline and all this shit. Wow. I want to see good matches. I want you to explain to me why your buddy Triple Triple H, Paul, whatever the fuck that motherfucking name is, has this pay-per-view bad blood, and there's not one fucking match on it for bad blood. <sighs> Can't. That's a two-part answer question. Okay. I got to hear this first, shit. For, first, your storyline. Mm-hmm. I would love to see something along the lines where it, Tiffany Stratton had T's maybe cashing in mm-hmm. on Dead Morgan. And then that would have set up Survivor Series if they were to have the idea all champions versus champions. You would have Nia Jax versus Liv Morgan. Oh, wow, that's that's, then, that's some bullshit. And, th- and then your girl Tiffy Time would have had to make a difficult decision on who she was going to cash in 
on. That's a good which, out there, buddy. Wait, wait, which at that point probably wouldn't matter if she became one or the other champion. It really didn't, just as long as she casted it in. Because I thought it would have been a great setup for going into Survivor Series, probably heading into the Royal Rumble, all the way into WrestleMania, just for that particular belt. That is probably the the best fucking thing you said in all these <laughs> goddamn months. That was the best fucking thing you ever said. Um, look, I I see it the same way you do. Mm-hmm. Maybe not all the time, but your part two question, Triple yeah. H, yeah. what are they planning for? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Wasn't you excited about this bad blood shit? Was I? Yeah. Thanks, changes. <laughs> Oh, what, do you, what, what do you want, want me to what I, I told you before, I don't always agree with Triple H. I don't. I think in, overall, up to this point, with all the matches that we discussed, it's basically how I feel. It's basically what I told you what I wanted to see. I told you my opinion. And then we also discussed what would have been better for this uh, PLE or pay-per-view and what we wanted to see going on forward. So far, we haven't seen everything that we wanted to see. Now, see I don't nothing. Know. what did we see? Nothing, sir. I'm going to end it on this one. Liv Morgan's still the champion. Her and Dom are a thing. That's going to fizzle out. It's starting to fizzle out. Okay. Um, but the Rhea Damien shit, whatever. Every uh, your buddy, his plans. He wants to be fair. He puts belts on them because they're fair. Uh, you know, he puts it on for like a month or two and just to be fair and all this shit. You're not doing the right thing. He's not doing the right. I'm tired of the fair shit. My man Vinny, he wasn't worried about fair. He was worried about what's best for fucking business. I don't give a damn if you deserve shit. If you're not best for business and best for sales, I don't give a damn. I don't want to play musical belts. Oh, well, you know, you, you're a good kid. Let me give it to you for like a day so you can hold it for a day. Oh, no, no. You're a better kid. Let me give it to you. You can hold it for like a day or two. But I'm going to take it back from your ass. But, but, but I gave it to you. <laughs> just, just, you're fucking guy. I fucking hate him so fucking bad. I hate him to the utmost. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I just can't fucking stand it. You know, you, you, know you, you know what? You just get you just gave me an idea. <sighs> you recently just gave me an idea right now. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's right. Cause I'm not, you're not the only one that cannot stand Triple H or Cody Rhodes. I know that you see the comments just like I see them. Oh yeah. Now if I was the Booker, knowing that there's that momentum that people do not like me, mm-hmm. if I was in Triple H's shoes. Probably either book myself or Cody Rhodes as heel to go up against Roman Reigns. But Cody's a heel? (laughs) Oh, that wouldn't work. Oh, God, no. No, Roman Reigns is turning face. People are loving him again. He's selling out merchandise and doesn't even need to be on the show, really. Uh, yeah, I mean, Roman could be face. So, see, I don't know if he's face. I think he's just Roman. Like, he's just Roman. Okay, listen to this logic. In years before, before the uh, whole pandemic, leukemia stuff that he had going on and stuff like that, yeah. had his twins, people did not like him when he was in the shield. People was actually booing yeah. him when he was a face. They're yeah. doing the same thing for Cody. 
why not use that momentum, turn it, and make something out of it? With Cody? Because I know you want to see him get his ass kicked. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see Cody get the, get the shit. I want to see him get the brake speed off him. <laughs> For real. <laughs> For real. That would sell. And who would be the best person to do it? Roman Reigns. Uh, listen, we already know it's going to be a Roman Cody 3. We just don't know when. Uh, it's coming. Yeah, it, but I think it's stupid. Why? It's fucking dumb. Like, why? Why? Three years in a fucking row are the same two motherfuckers in the main event? It's fucking dumb. I don't care how you spin it. He lost the first time. He won the second time. Now, face heel. Everybody's flipping and shit. I, I, I had enough of it. I had enough of it. You know, I, I'm tired. Of this first of all, I'm tired of Cody. I'm, I'm fucking done with him. I wish he never even came here. You know what I mean? Anyway, sir, the match was a D for me. I think it was awful. I think it was god awful. Uh, I went for Finn to finally do something. I first of all, what happened to Finn versus Damien? Where where was that? Like that's what you need. I thought they was going to do, first of all, didn't Finn screw Damon? Yep, sure did. Okay, so where the fuck's that story? You worry about Dom. Like, but Finn screwed you. And then you got Rhea and Damon talk, well, we were world champions and we didn't need them. And... <laughs> like, what the fuck? Really? First of all, fuck Damien, seriously. I mean, you ain't that motherfucking good any goddamn way. All right? Your buddy, your, your, your fucking daddy Triple H gave you the title as a fucking show and tell gift. Like, here, Damon, take this to school for a couple of days. And then I'm going to take it off you. <laughs> I mean, shit. He's a fucking bitch. Fuck him. And he ain't that fucking good. Honestly. I mean, but anyway, I'm sorry, sir. All right. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh... So I thought this was the second best match of the night. Uh, the strap match. Um, <laughs> I can tell you, I like the match. I like the whole concept of hitting the fucking buckles of the light and then come around. Uh, I'm glad this story is over. <laughs> with him and Punk, I'm glad it's over with. In a way, but I like the match. Um, this story, I I was okay with. Um, I really think they could have stretched that match to bad blood. But, again, you got to save some for the German folks. Which, by the way, that crowd was fucking amazing. That's a good crowd. Uh, you have to work a little bit harder to get them to cheer. You know what I mean? You got to work hard for them Germans, man. They, they, it's hard for them, them cats. You know, they're very, they're very hard crowd, but I, I did like something about them. Uh, Drew is a, um, a good heel seller. I like him now. Now I'm starting to like his whole character now. I, I'm starting to take Drew in more. I like to see... You need more Drews. You need more of that. You know, you're not getting no main Drews. Sam Punk, I know he said he wants to look at the winner of the Randy Gunther. See, you have no shot at anybody, so I don't give a fuck. Uh, but I like the match. The strap match is a good match. The A match, I forgot who I picked. It didn't matter. I liked it. I'm glad it's over. I like to see CM do whatever fuck he wants to do. I would like to see Drew go on and go after somebody, like in a good match. I like to see him go, like what to do with Drew. I don't know. I don't know if you put him against Cody, but then I can put him against Cody because Cody's a bitch. He he probably cry in the corner or some shit. Oh, he kicked me too hard. Oh, shit like that. Whatever. It is what it is, but. Fuck them. It is what it is. Go ahead, sir. You go right ahead. Okay. Well, 
I'm gonna just be the complete opposite because oh, when shit. oh shit is right. I you was not this feeling... match? No. What? No, I was not feeling this match Whoa. since Summer Sl- since SummerSlam. I expected more out of them. They built up a great storyline for CM oh, Drew McIntyre to win. Okay, fine, I get that. Whoop de do. The match wasn't all that good. It was what it was. And then you put them in a strap match where someone had to touch all four corners of the with the strap or holding on to their opponent or whatever, however that match was worked to win this match. Now you had them tie one apiece only to set up something for hell to hell in the cell. Which probably should have happened at SummerSlam. Cause you, more than likely that's gonna if they they'll tie that one on one, they're gonna have them go against each other again at Bad Blood and Hell in, in the Hell in the Cell. I guarantee you that's what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, and by the way, CM Punk finally got his bracelet back at the end. Whoop de doo. It was boring to me. Wow. Yes. Ladies You're and gentlemen, you don't always agree. Right there. I'm not wow. feeling the match. I'm not feeling the storyline. They're wow. playing it out too damn long. If they were ever gonna have a oh shit big moment between them, SummerSlam would have been the best time to have that Hell in a Cell match. But you play this on, you're probably going to have that match in October. For me, personally, I don't know if I'm even invested in this storyline. Whoa! Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, Give Lou a break. He did not see this coming. Whoa. <laughs> what? He just did an RKO on my ass and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> you, I did not expect you to say this shit. I did not. What the fuck? Have you been keeping <laughs> this inside all this long? What the fuck is this shit about? What the fuck? Like, yo. Wait a minute, am I talking to the right dude here? Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, we just have different opinions. We both love wrestling. We both love WWE. We want to see it improve. We just have different opinions. Of course, everyone's going to have a different opinion. I did not see this coming. <laughs> so you are basically shitting on your, your fucking idol, Paul. Are you shitting on his storyline? I'm shitting on this storyline. Oh, but not every... Oh, okay. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Save yourself. Save yourself. But go ahead. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, to me, I'm going to give I'm gonna give him the floor on this one. This, to me, was the best match of the night. It was an A match. I liked the match. Um, I thought it was very well constructed. Uh, I thought the crowd got into it. Of course, it was Gunther or whatever. But this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Gunther versus Randy Orton. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, it was it, I saw the job on whoever, whatever agent was working with these two. Uh, Gunther and Van Orton. I remember back then you saying that they better have a storyline for Gunther uh, after SummerSlam. Uh-huh. And personally, I did not see this coming at King of the Ring that they were put these two together after SummerSlam because Van Orton was a SmackDown guy. You have Gunther, that's a Raw guy, and now he's the World Heavyweight Champion. But it was a genius move. It was very genius to leave that curve that no, that I, I well, me personally did not see coming. Because I was bitching about uh, that it may have been um, botched in that match between them two at King of the Ring. Something with the referee, count of three, and everyone saw it and making a big deal about it. 
And then we all got pissed off and we all forgot about it and said, fuck this shit. Yep. But very fucking genius, whoever created this, to have them to go at it. I think it made it more memorable right Don't now. Don't say whoever. You know what you want to say. Say I think... <laughs> Can I finish? <laughs> I you think, know what I you think, want to say. I think it made it more memorable now because you have Randy Orton, the veteran, that put Gunther over and they took their time. It was a very slow paced match. It was thirty four and thirty four minutes and twenty eight seconds this match. Damn, um, yeah, thirty four thirty four minutes and twenty eight seconds. That's actually good. That's good. That's very good. Um had you know it not not every match can be like this, but they did it perfectly. They took their time, they did their moves. They get the crowd's reaction. Uh, they display Gunther's dominance. They showed Orton's being resilient. Mm -hmm. um, the storyline seems to have resonated with the crowd. It, it put them both on a different level. It made the World Heavyweight Championship belt more prestige. Um, this was an awesome match. Yes, it did. You like Gunther too. You just said that this was the best match. I will go ahead. Let me know. Yeah, that's what that that was my two three cents. Okay. <laughs> this now I'm going to go back. This is back to WrestleMania. I said to you. Back at WrestleMania, was I was flipping that man when you took the Intercontinental title off of Gunther. You better put the world title on Gunther, right? I said that, and I said that he will make that title legit, legit that world title. Okay, you're right. I, I, I'll give you all your props. You explained it very, very well. I will give you props. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give him his flowers, which I'm, 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 I'm not really comfortable doing this, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to give him his flowers. You know, he explained it well. And, you know, my, my, my man over in India, S man. Yes. Yes. Your favorite explained it very, very well. Cause I know you're going to watch this, you know, you can, Clap, clap for your favorite Mario. You know what I mean? Since, since you got a little, you got a big fan over there in you, me. You know what I mean, MC? So, you know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> um, it was a good match. Well, very, very well constructed. I like the match. You're right. Randy put him over. Uh, but this will also tell you. As I said, this should have been a main event. I don't get spiked. I don't give a shit if it's in Germany or not. This would have been a main event anywhere around the world. This also proves to me, is this tells you that your boy Cody ain't shit. <laughs> okay? I told you, and I said this, go back. I'll send you the clip. I'll text you the clip. I said Gunther's ring is going to make Cody's look like shit. Yeah, he did gonna make him look like shit and I told you that shit you gotta keep the title on Gunther he's gonna make matches he's fucking good he's good for the title this title until you put the undisputed title back on Roman is a bigger title than Cody it's bigger the undisputed title don't mean shit anymore nothing nothing Okay, now, if you want to put a twist on shit, see, this is a storyline right now. I want to tell you this before. <clears throat> when Cody lost the first time at 39, right? Mm -hmm. If I wish they would did a certain angle now than back then. Remember when he went against Brock? They had the matches, Cody and Brock. I wish you would have had 
that story now for Cody. Instead of back then, think about it. That would be good. Could that because see, you need Cody to be put over. And Cody yet has not been put over by any match. I wish they would have took that Brock story now and let them go at it. AJ Styles not putting Cody over. Kevin Owens not putting Cody over. Uh, on, on the PLE house events, him being Shinsuke Nakamura a thousand fucking times all over the world, it's not going to do it. Even though he hasn't been on TV in fucking months. Him or AJ. You're not putting him over. Okay? Now, the Randy Guther thing. <sighs> See, this is the problem. You fucked that up. I agree with you. It was a good move putting him with the shoulder up and him and Guther, right? Mm -hmm. So if you do Cody Randy, you got to have Randy beat Cody now. You can't have Cody beat Randy. Because, what, he going to put over two guys back to back? I mean, think about it. You fucked up the ball. They dropped the ball. Your uncle your, your uncle Paul dropped the ball. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good one, Uncle Paul. That's a good one for you, Uncle Paul. <laughs> right? I mean, no, think about it, right? Gunther put, Randy put over Gunther, right? So how can you now have a story for Randy and Cody they're, unless they're, you, unless you, unless Triple H goes into his daddy memories, his daddy memories, like, damn, right, what would my daddy do? Vince, what would you do with the Cody Randy thing? All right, that's what you do. <laughs> he will, if, <clears throat> if you want to make Cody and Randy work, you basically had to copy off of what his daddy did with the Drew and Randy. They fought, big battles. Remember Randy got the title? He only got the title for like a month. Mm -hmm. And then Drew got it back. That's the only way you can make that shit work. Okay. So basically, your uncle, your uncle Paul, is going to have to copy everything his daddy did. Everything. You have to. Because now, okay, question for you. And it's kind of reverting back to the first one. Now you got both champions. Do you want to see champion versus champion at Survivor Series? Yep. Okay. Second question. How do you make that match even constructed? To keep Cody up <clears throat> and Gunther up. Well, I think that with the two representing their respective brands, you had to have more championship matches representing those brands. Mm -hmm. But who if wins? Can, if, you mean in that particular match or the brand? Yeah. In that yeah. particular match, who wins? Gunther. So if you're writing that story, you you want Gunther to win. After this match at Bass in Berlin, they need to keep him strong. They need okay. to keep him credible. They need that momentum going right now. Okay. So, when is you have bad blood, but then you got that crown jewel bullshit they do every fucking year. It's, it's a pain in my fucking ass. It's nothing but a fucking spectacle show. I don't know what type of matches you're going to have for that bullshit. You know I mean? Listen, you can have that fucking pay-per-view. You can fucking have it. I, I, I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I, I don't. I, I think it's bullshit. I think Crown Jewel is bullshit. I really do. It's a fucking side show. It's all this side show. So it's, it's fucking bullshit. Mm. <laughs> so you got what? One, two, three. It's what Thanksgiving time Survivor Series. Yep, Thanksgiving weekend. Yes. 
So you got what one, two, like almost three months, right? No. Okay. So <laughs> before I answer this question, before we wrap everything up, you know your buddy is back in the ring training again. I heard that. Your boy Rock is back in the ring training again. Okay. When do you start bringing this so-called bloodline civil war to a head? Now, immediately. If they're going to do something and capitalize it, they need to do it now. They need to go ahead and stop. They need to stop teasing and just start turning on things. It needs to happen immediately. There's only four weeks to bad blood. And then you have the storyline built up to Survivor Series. And if that's going to be the main focus for Survivor Series, it needs to be in a War Games match. Well, you said everything I want to say. say. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have our next pay-per-view at Bad Blood. I think that's October 5th? 5th? Fourth, where the fuck it is. Mario's gonna be running that show. That's his favorite pay per view. So it's gonna uh, be a good month. Yeah, it's gonna be bullshit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's he's gonna have back to back. I'm he's gonna have bad blood and that little fraud of a pay per view crown jewel, <laughs> which you gotta have his favorite wrestler come back. He has to come back. His favorite wrestler of all time is Idol Logan Paul is coming back for Crunch. <laughs> how, how, how many times have I said on this show, fuck Logan Paul? <laughs> uh, uh, and you want to do that while, now while I'm wearing my shirt? This shirt. Uh, uh, uh. First and foremost, your Astros. <laughs> are cheaters, okay? They're cheaters. Do not deny it. They cheated. Uh, yes, they did. They cheated. Um, in every which way possible. But we will talk about that another time. How much of a cheaters your team is. That's number one right now. Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> Thank you for this this week right here. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, I'm going to put a little spoiler. I am planning in 2025 to go on tour. And me and this man are going to sit down in person. Hopefully, not, knock on wood, everything works out right. WrestleMania weekend, 25, uh, 20, what is it, 50, 59? I don't know what the fucking number is. <laughs> what do you want? Something. What, 50 who? 41. 41. 41, 51. I thought it was 50s. 41. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, whatever it is. Right, whatever WrestleMania is. We're going to sit down in person and do this shit, hopefully, as he cooks all this food and as I eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, MC, thank you so much for being here today. Uh... To your to your biggest fan, um, S Man over there in India. There you go. He's there for you. And everybody else, please like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think, this and that. And we will get back with you at Bad Blood, Mario's favorite pay-per-view. Everybody have a good day, good Sunday, peace. <laughs>